Welcome to part 1 of the mushroom house tutorial. In this video we will model the stem of the mushroom and also the cap and set up some basic camera settings. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to get notified when I upload the next parts. First let's cover the basics of Blender. When you open Blender you're gonna get this menu and you wanna choose general and this will give us a scene with the default cube I'm just gonna turn this on so you can see what I'm clicking on to zoom in you can use your mouse wheel like this zoom in and out on the object and with your middle mouse button you can move the scene around. If you want to move the object, you have to click on it and press G to grab. If you right click with your mouse, you're gonna release the object back to where it came from. To place an object, press G to grab and left click. And to redo, press Ctrl C. Now with S you can scale the object. And to get into front view, press 1 on your numpad. And 3 to get into side view. I will scale this up so you can see better what's happening. Um, press 7 to go to top view. And this is how it looks from the front. Um, one option to move your object is to click on this and you will get these arrows you can move around. In this tutorial, you're going to learn to move it around with the shortcuts. You press G, X to move in the X axis. And G, Y to move in the Y axis. And G, Z or G, C to move in the Z axis. And press R to rotate an object. Now open a new project and let's begin modeling the mushroom. Click on the cube and press delete. Now press shift A. And under mesh choose the sphere. Press 1 on your numpad. Use the mouse wheel to zoom. Click on X-ray so we can select the vertices behind it. And tap. Then click and drag your mouse like this and choose these top and bottom vertices. Press delete and faces. Press tab and then SC to scale it up a bit. Up here, you can actually see the exact measurements if you want to type them in. Press tab. And turn on proportional editing. If you have 
an earlier version you can just double click but in 3.3 you have to press alt right click and now scale with s do the same here press alt left click adjust the proportional editing with your mouse wheel you can see that gray circle gets a bit bigger and press tap to go back to object mode press 1 and G and C and then move it up just above the red line Select this X ray view button. And to give this some thickness, we're going to need a modifier. So click on this and add modifier. And then choose solidify. And this will give our model some thickness. Here I actually ended up putting, setting it to 0 0.1 Press 1 And the reason you cannot see the vertices when you press tab is because we made the solidify modifier go outwards. So you have to click on this triangle. And now click and drag your mouse to select all these vertices. Press shift, click with your mouse to select all these missing ones until you get this shape. And it should look something like this. Press delete and then faces. Tap and add modifier and subdivision surface. Set both of these to three. And right click and shade smooth. and then let's click on this triangle again because this is just confusing us for now alt left to select this bottom one and press f to fill it out do the same up here alt left and f to fill Uh, choose face select and then click on these faces if you click on this triangle you'll be able to see it better so all these faces
And let's click on this again. And press I to insert a new face. So I and then with your mouse drag it in a bit. Press I again, but this time drag it all the way to the middle like this. Press tab. And that's it for the mushroom stem. Press 1. Shift A. Mesh. And sphere. And with G. C. Drag it up here. Now click on this bottom vertex. Make sure you still have this turned on. And press G and C. Um, make sure that the gray circle is the same size as mine and you can adjust it with your mouse wheel. Actually, I'm going to show you in x-ray mode because then you can see better what I'm doing. G, C and move it up here. And again, make sure the gray circle is the same size as mine to get the same result. Deselect the X-ray view button. Select this top vertex, press G. And with your mouse wheel, scale this in to here and press G C to move this up a bit alt left S to scale, scale it in, alt left on this one and scale it up. It should look something like this. Let's add a subdivision surface. Set both of these to one. Right click shade smooth. Press 1, GC, move the head down here, cap, head, <laughs> press 1 on your numpad, and scale it up, right click and set origin to geometry. Press 1 on your numpad. Now click on 
click on this vertex. Press G, C. And move it up. Now select this vertex over here and press G and C to move it up. And I think that looks pretty cute. Scale this up a bit with S. Now press 0 on your numpad to go into camera view. Click on this printer icon and set the resolution to 1400 and 1400 this will make the camera square click on view and camera to view to move the camera you can either click on it and press G like this and use your mouse wheel to zoom and the middle button to adjust the angle. Um, don't worry too much about this because we're gonna change it at the end of the whole tutorial. This is just to have like a preview of the render. Click on the camera icon and select orthographic. Click and drag your mouse to zoom. And again, it doesn't matter that much because we're gonna adjust it at the end. But you can see the exact location up here in the right corner. And if you type those in, you're gonna get the exact same camera angle as me. The reason why this is a good idea is because sometimes you have to change things um, to look good on the camera. And for example, I want the bottom to be a bit more choppy. <laughs> so let's um, click, press tab to go into edit mode and uh, make sure you're in face select and select this one. Now select this face. And if you press Ctrl plus three times, you're going to select those faces around it. Press S and scale up just a little bit to make it more choppy at the bottom. I think that looks cuter. Here's how it looks in the front view if you want to um, double check your shape. Um, <laughs> Bambi. Bambi. Now press 1 to go into camera view. It 
if you move your cursor up here you're gonna see a little cross and then you if you click and drag it over here and then press T and N and then up here use your mouse wheel to scroll to the end and click on this to see render view use your mouse wheel to zoom in and drag this in a bit press zero to get out of camera view and click on the camera and press H to hide it so it doesn't get in the way when we model now click on the lamp and then on the light bulb icon and change it to Sun and set the strength to 5000 press 7 on your numpad to go to top view and click the little yellow dot to move the light around this is a, a temporary light it's just to see the render view to the left better but at the end of the whole tutorial we're gonna set up the lights And once again, you can check the exact location and everything up in the right corner if you want the light to be exactly where mine is. To do that, click on the numbers that you see in the right corner and type in those numbers that I have. Press one on your numpad and click on the cap and scale it up a little bit and then with G, C let's move it up a bit as well and that's it for part one of this tutorial if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and like and hit the bell button and hopefully i will see you in part two